Hi guys, apparently it's election season. I got a mail-in ballot a couple weeks ago and then I started getting all of the campaign ads like always. So Los Angeles has city elections in the spring. A couple years ago we voted for mayor, that's pretty important, but this time there's just some school board and community college board of trustees and two ballot measures that will move these elections to coincide with the federal and state elections. And that seems like a great idea to improve voter turnout. Like, voter turnout is super low even for federal elections. Imagine what it's like for the off-year local elections. Like, anything that will improve voter turnout is a good idea in my opinion. And low voter turnout is really too bad because these local elections will, like, more directly affect my life. There's this one guy running for community college board who wants to make community college teachers go to seminars and conferences with four-year college professors. That will directly affect my daily life and my future career. And there's this other guy who wants to hire more full-time faculty. That is a great idea. When all you have is part-time adjuncts running around to get to their different classes at different colleges, nobody's getting the full attention of that professor. Full-time positions are better for the teachers and for the students. These ads are great, as always, but not if you want to actually be informed about people's policies. I've found the League of Women Voters smartvoter.org to be M more informative and less biased than anything I get in the mail. They ask the same questions to all the candidates and so you can compare their answers directly. But now let's look at what I've received in the mail. I've received almost as much for this local school board election as I did for last November's election. And there's still two more weeks before the election. The first thing I noticed was this stack from this group of four that's all running for community college board. But these are just endorsements! There's no actual information about policies or issues on here. Like, I have no idea how these people will affect my life. Like, at least this one has, like, little mini bios, but even then, all of them end with who they were endorsed by. And then we have the LA School Board. I got four pro Ref Rodriguez ads, and I got two from his campaign but against somebody else, and then I got three anti- um, Ref Rodriguez ones. In the pro Rodriguez ads, we can see a lot of the same things that we've seen in all of these other campaign ad videos. We have Jerry Brown's face endorsing Ref Rodriguez, and this is the same picture that it's always of Jerry Brown. I don't even know if he looks like that anymore. Ref Rodriguez helping out racially diverse children. We have the same slightly differently cropped picture with slightly different endorsements. I think the real winner ads for this election are the anti-Rodriguez ones. They are search engine themed. Way to cater to the millennials who use Bing and Ask.com. Like, are you going for hip or ironic? I'm not sure what you were thinking with these ads. So I hope that everyone will vote in whatever next election is coming up for them. I also hope that you will inform yourselves about the ballot even if that means just looking at the ads and seeing how they're trying to manipulate us. Alright, bye!